Welcome to another UCCS Machine Shop video. Today we will be making a flywheel for your gyroscope. Here's a parts diagram of the flywheel. To start, get some stock that is 3 inches in diameter and greater than 3 eighths of an inch thick. Install a 3 inch collet into the lathe. Place your stock in the collet. Next, install a 60 degree cutting tool. Place the cutting tool in the quick change device and lock it down. Set the compound slide to 45 degrees. Each machine is different, so consult a TA on how to set the compound slide. Make sure the compound slide is locked. Make sure the compound slide is all the way forward. Set the height of your cutting tool using a fishtail. Set the angle of the cutting tool to point straight at the face of the flywheel. Next, face both sides of the flywheel. Apply machinist die to the face of the part. Scribe lines for the chamfers on the face of the part using a compass. For the outside chamfer, scribe a line at 50 thousandths from the side of the part. For the first inside chamfer, scribe a line at 0.4 inches and 0.525 inches. For the second inside chamfer, scribe a line at 1.125 inches and 1.25 inches. Next, cut the channel in the flywheel. Zero on the face of the flywheel and cut 125 thousandths of an inch deep. Make sure to stay between the lines. Zero again at the depth of 0 0.125 inches. Next, we will cut the first inside chamfer. Move to the zero set previously, and once this is set, do not move the carriage left or right. On the x-axis, move in until, the, until you see chips. Draw the compound slide out, and then move it back in. Move out on the x-axis again and repeat this process until the scribe line is reached. Next, we will cut the second inside chamfer. Set the machine to reverse. Repeat the same process as the first chamfer. Again, cut the outside chamfer using the same method. Take the part out of the collet and measure its thickness. Subtract 0 0.375 from that measurement, and the result is the amount of material that needs to be removed in order to make your part 375 thousandths of an inch thick. Put the flywheel back in the machine and cut it down to size. Once the part is 3 eighths of an inch thick, 
cut the channel and the chamfers on this side of the part using the same process as before. Measure the thickness of your spindle. Start a hole using a center drill. Drill a hole using a drill bit that is slightly smaller than the spindle. Install a boring bar in the quick change block. Set the angle of the bit to be perpendicular to the face of the part. Set the height of the boring bar using a fishtail. Touch the side of the hole, zero your x-axis, and cut through the hole for a perfectly round hole. Measure the diameter of the hole, subtract the diameter of the spindle from the diameter of the hole, and the result is the amount of material that needs to be cut out of the hole. Cut the material out of the hole. Once you've finished, your part should look like this. Thanks for watching.